there's always got to be that one thing. <laughs> that one thing when Tom's demoing, I'm in the other room, and I hear... Ah, oh, dang it. Or... <laughs> what the heck is that? Or... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, that's exactly how you say <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I actually was not expecting anything with this We bathroom. thought this was gonna be a wildly straightforward <laughs> bathroom remodel. Yeah. So we've shared before, our house was built, the original part of our house was built in the early 40s, mm -hmm. but then it was added onto once in the... the mid 90s is this edition. And then once again in like the early 2000s. Yeah, and the early 2000s would have been our entryway and laundry was added. So we're working in the newer part of the house now. So <laughs> I think that's where I was kind of like, this is very straightforward. It's linoleum, it's a vanity, like what's the big deal? Yeah. So we had shown our new vanity that we got a couple weeks ago. And so uh, Tom got to work pulling this bathroom apart and taking out the old vanity. All right, so today's the day out with the old vanity. And we're gonna reuse- Oh, I thought you were saying in with the new, I was gonna say, we, that might not be today. <laughs> <laughs> no rush, no rush. I just know there's a lot of things need to come out of here. To, yeah. To so yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is pull the vanity. So I'm gonna pull the sink and faucet. We're reusing this. Uh, the backsplash will go, the counter will go, all that will go. So I cut, I cut most of the way around. I couldn't get the backside, so hopefully I don't snap the sink. Oh. Did it break? I don't know. Oh, I think it came out. Came yeah, it came out. Nice. Cool. Okay. Now Adeline can peel all this off the bottom. Thanks. Yay. I think it would be, uh, what is the word, satisfying, Adeline? Um, oh, I thought you meant, <laughs> I, I, was, I thought it was going to be character building. I thought satisfying is the word the kids use for that kind of stuff now. <laughs> yeah, the kids. So another fun fact, I put all this tile up here as a backsplash four years ago and never grouted it. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's okay. It's almost like I knew. That's not so bad. We'll have to mud, mud and smooth out this this section here. Yeah. That's not bad because it's mostly going to get covered up. Right. Another fun fact. How do you feel about demo day? Worst day of my life. <laughs> and why? <laughs> I don't like messes. Yeah. And who has to clean it up? Me. You don't have, it's not like a uh, fixer upper where there's someone else to come behind them and clean up the mess, right? <laughs> it's all you. It's all me. You're a one man crew. <laughs> yep. If I could skip this part, if, if I could like leave for a day and come back, and it'd be completely ready for me to start putting the new in. Yeah. My preference. All right. Yep. All right. As soon as you pulled out the old vanity, what did you find? behind it. There is some like uh, elbow pipes coming from the floor angling into the wall. Oh. Yay. <laughs> right. You gotta be kidding me. Is the floor a different height underneath? No, we got pipes coming out of the wall that we can't. Oh. Did not expect to see those there. What on earth? What are those for? I don't have the slightest clue. So we were planning on doing a, a open bottom, like a vanity on feet. Yeah. And so you'll see, I mean, if you lay on the floor and look underneath the <laughs> cabinet, you'll see everything. Um, but the problem was they were kind of right in the way where one of these feet needed to go to put the vanity. Right. And so, and you had no idea actually what those were. And I didn't, Four. I had thought underneath this side of the house, underneath the new part of the house is a crawl space. And you can get to that through our basement, which is the old half of the house. And so I had thought, well, maybe I would crawl through the crawl space and see what those pipes do. But then I had realized like, it's just going to be pipes going straight up into the floor. Like I'm yeah. not going to see up the walls. So I didn't do that. And we just figured a workaround was move one of the feet in far enough to Mm -hmm. like let the elbow pipe stay there 
And then that, that worked, because then we were able to just push the cabinet straight up against the wall. If you lay on the floor and look underneath, you'll see them, but yeah. I don't plan on doing that. Yeah. And the other thing you ran into is when you were going to pull up the old linoleum. So we planned to run this new flooring that we we're putting in into that bathroom as well. Mm -hmm. um, you had hoped, you said sometimes with linoleum, they only glue it on the perimeter. perimeter. And sometimes they glue the whole thing. This wasn't the whole thing. I thought it was. It was okay. spotty. They did the perimeter and then they must have done like some streaks throughout <laughs> when they did it. Okay. So it wasn't yep. It wasn't bad. as bad. So I got a like a two and a half inch wide chisel and I was able to shave off all the chunks that it was much more time consuming than what I was hoping for. But that's okay. Yeah. This is the last of the old flooring in the house. Now we have officially replaced every piece of flooring in this house. Oh, that's true. Everything. I didn't even think yep. about that. Are you modeling the couch yeah. <laughs> now? We wanted to give you a quick update on how our couch has been holding up. We've had it for almost three months now. This couch gets pounded by the children. We tell them all the time, stop being so hard on the couch. We want it to last a long time. Uh, they so run and they jump on it and they fall on it and they wrestle on it and they play cars on it. I tell them the opposite. What? I've been telling them, like, do not jump on my leather couch. <laughs> I've been letting them because I want to see how well it holds up. Normally, we would not let them <laughs> jump and like wrestle on our furniture. No, because <laughs> if we're going to promote something, then I want to make sure it's good. And any like during waking hours, there's always at least one to four people on this couch. All the time. <laughs> like All constantly, the time. whether they're reading, watching a show, playing, doing schoolwork, like this is the main hangout now. So what's cool about Allform is like you actually completely customize your sofa. You can pick out your own, your color, your size, your the length, ottoman or no ottoman, uh, chase end or no chase end. Um, you can even pick the different leg colors. Yeah, so we picked a three seat sofa, which mm -hmm. our, our space isn't big here, but it fits perfectly. We can actually, all six of us fit on this couch comfortably, mm -hmm. which I would have never guessed that was possible. The material is scratch resistant and stain resistant. So even when the kids have like gotten something on it, I just take a microfiber cloth to it and it totally cleans up. Uh, it's pet friendly as well. And because they ship it directly to you, the prices are very reasonable. But what was cool, it actually came in a bunch of boxes. Like five or six boxes it showed up in. So you don't need a Tom to carry it into your house. <laughs> no, that, that was actually fantastic because yeah. Tom does not like carrying monster stuff into our house because I always smack the wall and then I have to fix it. Yep. And it it was super quick and easy to put together. I don't even know how long it took, but it was not very long. And the kids helped too. I mean, it was it went together mm -hmm. really easily. So Tom's a little picky when it comes to our furniture, but everyone would be. <laughs> I think you've been very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Yeah. by the quality. Yeah. And you hear us talk about our Helix mattress. All Form is actually a sister company mm -hmm. to Helix, which means they also offer a 100 day back guarantee. So if you don't love your sofa or your piece of furniture that you pick out, they will come and get it from you and offer you a complete refund. Mm -hmm. And All Form couches are completely manufactured in the US. So we have a link down below. You can save 20% off of your sofa and then your family can live on it too, like we do. And granted, like, at the end of the day, does this vanity, did it need to be replaced? Like, nope. no, it was totally cosmetic and just fun to do. It is like when you walk in that door, it's yeah, like it's one first, of the first things yeah. you see. And now this bathroom, I think it fits the rest of our house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I know we've kind of now inadvertently been changing everything to white, which isn't even necessarily because it was like in style or trendy. Cheap. It's inexpensive, mm. but it also makes our small house feel so much bigger. Yeah, yeah. Like every area of our house now that we've added like white cabinets and white trim and, and everything, it actually feels a lot bigger. And we've intentionally kept like the colors on the walls really light. Yeah, and even with this new flooring, we went lighter because we were trying to keep the house mm -hmm. feeling bright and open. And it, it really actually has yeah. made a huge difference. In a perfect world though, I would have wood all over the place. Yes, some some colors for sure, like whites and whatever. Mm -hmm. But I would have lots of wood, like natural woods. Not because... like golden oak. <laughs> no, not golden okay. oak. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with golden oak in my opinion though. I think you can make it look good. Okay. But if I were like building a house or something, it would be, there would be lots of wood in it. Yeah. Just so you know, if you ever have that yeah. inkling to build a house, it will have wood in it. 
I I really no, I'm not against that either. I think if our house was a little bit bigger, I yeah. would love to work in like yeah, cabinets or trim or whatever. That's I, I think agree. so. Beams in the ceiling or something like that, yeah. Yeah. I would but this house is that. just way too small for all of those things. Right. So. And so then Tom, so you got the vanity in, you got the leg on it moved. Okay, one yeah. other question that came up when I showed the vanity for the first time. Yeah. Some people said, why would you want a vanity with feet on it? Because you have to clean underneath it then. Here's a, here's a pro tip. This is Dawn's favorite tip. You don't, you don't clean under it. You just uh -huh. don't even look. <laughs> I know it's a trade off, but I would, I would clean under that vanity all day long because I won't. <laughs> I was going to say, we should, yeah, I was going to say we should totally go to our other bathroom that has feet on and, and video <laughs> underneath that cabinet. I love how it looks. I like that it looks more like a piece of furniture and even just being up off the ground, I feel like it makes the space more open. It's actually really funny to me that you are the minimal mom. <laughs> I don't, I'm not the cleaning mom. I know, I know. And you even say that you are minimal, but you're not clean. Yep. Right. So, that's you're still why a messy we, person. That's why we complement <laughs> yep. each other, right? A clean person marries a not so clean person. It's how it goes. Like. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, so we got the vanity in. We okay. Here's the other thing we went back and forth on. It mm. was countertop because Tom, mm. along with his preferences, like natural wood and stuff. I like stone. Stone everything. We have not had granite since like three houses ago when I worked at a granite company and got it for cost. So that's why we had granite in that house. Yeah. But I fell in love with it. Mm. We haven't had it since. So we actually, so at the building material outlet where we got the vanity from, mm. they have stone like pre-cut Pre, countertops yeah, there, yeah. but none of them, they either had two holes cut in them or the stone was just not. Yeah, it was like a pinkish or it was like, no, that's no. not what I want. And we didn't even, we didn't even want to find out what it would cost to get a vanity top made. Yeah. So we went with Formica from mm -hmm. a high definition Formica, like a marble-ish look. Mm -hmm. It was $85. And we're reusing the sink and the faucet. Yeah. So it's not, I think because it has the bull nose, it, 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 I don't think anyone's gonna walk in and be like, oh, wow, that's real stone. No. But it's- Your grandma might. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, it's fairly convincing though. Like, or it, I mean, it looks I nice, it gives the feel we want. From where we came from with that bathroom. Yeah. And then when I messed up on our color choice for the island, when we mm -hmm. first, when we first bought this house, we put an island in only. And then we put that countertop that was in here, that yeah, that brown, brownish, like whatever. It. And it was too dark for the house. I didn't want to throw it away, so then I cut it up and used it mm -hmm. in this bathroom. And that's what we've had ever since. Yeah. It's how long it says to do it, but I don't feel like that was long enough. So you put it in the oven? Yeah, you heat the glue up. For how but long? It says 20 seconds, but that's not long enough. Oh, okay. Back to the oven. Take two. Nope. Yep, we're good now. How long did you put it in that time? Uh, maybe 30, well, it was already warm, so maybe another 25 seconds or so. So maybe 40, 45 seconds total. And then how do you round the edge? Router. So then we wanted to find another, some kind of like little backsplash material, mm -hmm. um, since it's not real stone, so we couldn't do a matching backsplash. Right, and we wanted it to be bright still. We want that mm -hmm. bathroom to feel like really fresh and clean. So we were looking for kind of like smaller subway tiles like in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find anything exactly like that, so these no. were the closest, but. Yeah, I think they look awesome. They're Granted, pretty. they're only held up by tape right now. <laughs> Granted, they were kind of expensive. Uh, yeah. Like how much is the 12 by 12 sheet of it? Oh, uh, like, 9.99 or something okay. for or 11 or something like that. It ended up being with the for the the tile, the grout, the thin set, all of the. It was 120 dollars. Hold on, but two of the two. Of, so now that the reason I have it all taped up is I was trying to figure out how many of those big pieces we could return. Oh, okay. We can return two of them. So that should be like 20 to so like $24. So into like a hundred bucks into the backsplash. It's just crazy that that's 85 more than the- into the countertop. Yeah, yep. the backsplash is more than the countertop. Correct, yep. But I do feel like it really like pulls it all together. 
-hmm. Granted, it is all very white in mm -hmm. there now, and that is the bathroom the kids come in when they're like in the summer playing outside in the dirt and like go to, but it should, it's all materials that should wash up really easily too. Yeah. So, so I, I am actually kind of blown away at, I feel like now with putting the new flooring in, like our house is looking way cooler than I ever would have expected. Yeah, no, I think, so right now we have no base trim or no door trim on anything yet. So once I throw out all the base and trim out all the doors, mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be like, bam. Until uh, we start using any of it and then you re realize how dirty the base trim gets. <laughs> I know. It really does, it gets so yeah. dirty. Especially in the country, in, in town it may be fine where, yeah. you, where you don't have gravel or dirt. Right. But in the country, it gets dirty. Yeah. All right, so here's our design question for you. I painted this bathroom this mint green a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I still really like it. It matches my curtain and the artwork that I have in here. Tom would like to paint it the light blue color that we have in the other rooms upstairs. Mm, I, I think I just don't want it green anymore. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> should we leave it the mint green or paint it no idea. A light color. It needs to have a little color in it. I'm okay with the rest of this area being neutral just to keep it open and bright and it all kind of runs together. But in the rooms that are like a contained room, I like to have a little color. Especially now that we have white trim and everything. What about um, like a peach? Okay. All right, <laughs> let us know if we should leave the mint green or if you have another idea for a paint color. But I think it's I think it's cool because this is the house I've like wanted to live in my whole entire life. Like this was like my dream house, and I knew it was never Tom's dream house. I don't think it was. Your, it's not your dream house. It was your dream property. No, it was my dream house. Oh, for real? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just the property was your dream place. No, I wanted a small white house. Oh. Like I was like, if it's a small house, I can stay on top of it, hmm. and our family will always be close. I didn't know that. Yeah. I always thought it was just this 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 piece of land. No, I was totally content with the house and everything because I knew we could make it cool. I didn't think we'd be able to make it look this cool, especially like piecing stuff together from like building material outlet and marketplace yeah. and everything. But I always felt like Tom made a concession for us to live here. Like he knew it was my dream to live here, but now I feel like you're starting to think like it's a pretty cool house too. <laughs> It is, and like we have talked a hundred thousand times. If it was just the two of us, we could be in this house forever with no problems. Yeah. It, so we got a, how old is Gage? Seven? We gotta yeah. make it nine more years and we'll be golden. <laughs> it's just like no, this time sorry, of year. 11. Yeah, this time of year when we're all home and yeah. in the house. Like yeah. granted, we've had a stretch of a couple of days now where it's been really nice and we're so grateful for that. Yeah. But like when it dips below zero and like we are all in the house for a few days in a row, it's tough. It gets a little small. Like yeah. it's definitely so. And right now it's quiet. The only time we get quiet outside when the kids are sleeping is when we're recording videos. We <laughs> Otherwise watch it. it is so loud in this house all yeah. the time. They get to, we're like, do you want to watch that show you've been wanting to watch? Bye. <laughs> <And we're> like, <laughs> Can you hear a pin drop? All right. <laughs> so yeah. So no, I am just, I don't know, there's something about, I think because that was like one of the last rooms in this main area here that you could kind of see still some of the old stuff now that it's like all has been mostly updated, which again, because it's a small house, it's like been fairly economical to do. Yeah. I just, I don't know. There was something about when that came together, I was just like, I really like our house a lot now. <laughs> so I've always liked it. I like love it now. I love That's it. Good. So. Thank you. Thank you for all your hard work. Yeah, no problem. But we're not done yet, so. We're not done yet. <laughs> There's still no sinkhole cut in the countertop. Tom couldn't find his I jigsaw. I couldn't find a jigsaw blade right. anywhere. But you can, that'll come together pretty quick. You can tile in your sleep, so that'll yeah. that'll go pretty yeah. fast, so. I actually, I'm surprised. I know we did the whole tile walls and stuff in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I love tiling. Like, tiling is so much fun to me because it's like just instantaneously gratifying. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and you're good at it, so awesome. Well, we'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. Do you have any fun projects going on? Are you going stir crazy in your house or not? But we hope that you have a great weekend. We love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.